Hello guys, in this video we are going to solve this problem from chapter rotation again from the Pathfinder book and this is from check your understanding question number one so you can look at it once before looking at the solution so yeah let's begin two identical thin rods a b and c d each of length l touch each other at point p rotate in a plane about their stationary ends a and c that are at a distance h apart velocities of the ends b and d have constant moduli v1 and v2 respectively find the component of velocity of their point of intersection p along the rod a b when the rods makes angle alpha and beta with the line ac so uh, this is a very ni uh, nice problem I, this is one of my all time favorites and yeah uh, so i had tried it quite uh, quite a few months ago so i i don't i didn't remember the solution now so first of all i tried bashing it uh, co with using coordinate geometry and uh, failed very mi uh, miserably uh, as you can see on the screen and uh, so i said no this is not the solution so, yeah. uh, in this solution i first of all assume that uh, pc is x and pa is y respectively and uh, by sign rule we can get that x by sine alpha equals to y over sine beta equals to h over sine of beta minus alpha and uh, from here what we can notice is that the velocity of point of intersection of p along the rod ab is actually decreasing the length of y so it is derivative of y with respect to time so dy by dt is the required speed so what we can get from here is that y equals to h sine beta over sine of beta minus alpha so what we can get from here is dy by dt equals to the denominator becomes sine square beta minus alpha and the numerator becomes h sine beta minus alpha multiplied by cos beta into beta dot minus h sine beta cos beta minus alpha multiplied by beta dot minus alpha dot right and uh, from here we can notice that uh, alpha dot is nothing but uh, minus of v1 over uh, l and beta dot is plus of v2 over l so substituting them here we get h over l sine square beta minus beta minus alpha and in the numerator we get sine of beta minus alpha times cos beta and v2 uh, and beta dot is v2 uh, i have uh, taken h and uh, 1 by l as common minus h sine beta cos of beta minus alpha multiplied by v1 plus v2 so yeah, this is the final answer. Thank you.